Yeah, I'm, I'm an impression to put too much stock in that happening consistently. So, next question. <laughs> Want to go back to the ninth inning where you fouled off a bunch of pitches before you hit it out? Yeah, um, you know, I was trying to look out over the plate early in that at bat, and I, and I had a couple out there and missed them. Um, and the other guys in front of me, he, he was trying to come in with actually like front door sinkers. So I was more so looking for that in the last three or four pitches in there and just trying to battle anything else. And um, after I felt off the one slider, I felt comfortable enough to, that I could recognize it. Um, and I was still looking for a fastball and just able to recognize that slider. That's a pretty good charge to uh, to tie a game with two out in the ninth and then win it. Yeah, I mean, I definitely didn't expect to hit a home run either time. So, um, like I said, uh, I was just trying to battle and, and go off the information I had in front of me and it happened to work out. I was thinking of something. You took, took my question. Oh, you know, now what's he going to do? No, I see another, uh, another solid start for you guys. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they just kind of jumped on those pitches early in, in that inning. Um, yeah, uh, they weren't necessarily bad pitches. I guess they were just kind of thinking the same thing we were thinking, and they didn't miss them. So, other than that, uh, yeah, he threw the ball extremely well, especially early on. Can you uh, talk a little bit about your season? Because it's kind of been a little bit of a yo yo hitting wise. I don't know. <laughs> I just just keep keep trying to do the same routine and make adjustments when I need to. And, uh, yeah, a lot of times I haven't made them quick enough or, or grasp onto anything, but uh, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun recently. Just feeling like I can go up there and compete and put some quality of bats together. You know, even in the midst of striking out a fair bit, still um, still going up there confident and, and feeling like I can contribute. It's, uh, it's definitely more fun than, than what it was for that month or so or earlier in the year. Tyler, I'm sure you'd rather be in a pennant race right now, but still, this is a pretty cool thing for you tonight. What, what kind of oomph is it, if you will? Um, it's, it's good oomph for the day, the night. You know, I guess if I don't play tomorrow, then maybe for two days. You know, I'll be happy and content for a couple days. Um, but after that, you know, it doesn't really mean anything after today. You know, kind of enjoy the moment. Go home and play with some kids and my wife. And, uh, Get ready to work again a while. Have you ever done anything like this before? No. <laughs> no. Okay. No, I haven't. Is it difficult playing in September when you're not in a race? Um, well, you know what? I've never actually been in a race in September, uh, at least where I was a starter, so um, I don't really know any different yet. Um, you know, I was around, whatever that was, two years ago when AJ was here, and, and we were in a race till late. Yeah, I'd say it's definitely a little bit more uh, intense and, uh, you know, you're living and dying a little bit more with each pitch and out and, and those kind of things. Uh, I think, you know, kind of the, the bad thing but the luxury about not being in it right now, so to speak, is that you can kind of relax and, and take it one pitch at a time and maybe not put that extra pressure on yourself. Um, that's about the only positive you can take from it. Was it weird seeing Adam just one week later in the other dugout, different uniform? Yeah, definitely. Definitely it was. Um, you know, he got that hit in his first of that. It was one got to happen. But uh, it didn't lead to anything, so that's okay. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's strange to see him over there, especially, you know, he's been a guy that's been here uh, pretty much the whole time I've been here. So, you know, we, we're pretty good friends. And, um, it's a little difficult when you're up there calling pitches. So, I know if we throw this, I can get you out right now, you know. So, uh, but it's a lot of fun, you know, and I think he had fun with it. He actually put together some good at-bats. We just made some really, really good pitches on him. Well, yeah, I mean, you also win. It's not fun losing. Um, that road trip will tell you enough about that. It's, it's definitely not fun. You got, you know, you're doing meetings and all sorts of things. That's not, that's not fun. Um, yeah, no matter what, what team you are and how bad you're going, you, you always want to win. You, know, you always feel happy when you win. When you lose, you're never happy. You work for and you lose. Uh, it's not a good day. You know, so. Yeah, we're always coming here to win. Thank you. Yeah, first of all, Harold Baines was just sticking his head. I know, I saw him. He I just tried to ignore him. Too. He said he'd take credit for them two home runs. He That's tied you everything yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, we actually worked on a few things today in the cage. So, uh, you know, at this point, you're in the last month of the season. Uh, how's, for those young how how's that major league body at this point in the season? <laughs> the major league catching body. <laughs> major league well, catching body. probably a body. little bit different than, than everybody else. You know, everybody's kind of feeling something. You know, you got... You got some sort of ache and pain, something that's nagging you. And I got a couple, but uh, you know, when you get out there and compete, you kind of forget about those things. You know, yeah. either you can play or you can't. So 
Uh, if it's hurting you that bad, you don't step on the field. And if it's not, you go out there and play, and you don't really think about it. More importantly, how, how does those knees hold up for a catcher at this point? Not bad. You know, I was fortunate I didn't start catching until 2008, so mm -hmm. I'm relatively fresh in, in comparison to a lot of mm -hmm. catchers around nowadays. So mm -hmm. I gave myself uh, some extra years playing mm -hmm. third base and such. Yeah. And I mean, when you look at the season at this point, you're not trying to play the spoiler role. I mean, how does that feel for you guys? Uh, well, you know, you'd rather be in the hunt. Um, but you gotta you gotta grab a hold of something to keep you competing and, and uh, you know drive, driving for it every day to win the ball games. Um, you know we don't necessarily want to be the spoiler, but uh, you know if that's the best thing we got, then we're gonna grasp onto it and do our best. And I just gotta ask for 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 my audience out there, how much trash talking should Adam Dunn do when he stepped in the uh, house? <laughs> not much trash talking. <laughs> not, not not this time. No, nah, he's one of my best friends. You know he's been here. Uh, he was here the whole time that I've been a major league ball player so uh, we're pretty good friends and uh, he always kind of looked out for me over here so uh, it was pretty weird seeing him in a different uniform uh, you know then on top of that he's coming up there to hit and I'm back there catching it's a little strange you know I never really envisioned that uh, that being a possibility so uh, no it's all good fun up there you know we did a little chit chat here and there but I try and respect uh, respect the hitters you know that they're up there trying to compete and get a job now so I don't want to yap on his ear too much <laughs> My last question for you. This is the closing days of a career for Paul Canerco. I mean, last part, piece of that World Series. Can you elaborate on that real quick? Um, well, I can tell you, you know, my relationship with him has been a lot like Dunn. He's another guy ever since I've been up in the big leagues. And um, even before that, in spring trainings where I was in the minor leagues. Um, you know, he's, he's another guy that's had a big influence on me personally, uh, on and off the field. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's a little bit older than I am, so he's got some wisdom and knowledge in, in certain subjects that I'm not quite as uh, strong in. So, uh, you know, that's that's probably a lot of the things that I'll look back on when he's not here with us in the future is uh, more so those kind of things off the field. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, you miss him on the field and in the dugout. But uh, obviously the guy's had a tremendous career. And, uh, he's a staple here in Chicago with the White Sox. And, of course, he'd always be welcome back, I'm sure. And, uh, I look forward to seeing them down the road sometime. All right. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it.